So it looks like that Google finally pulled the plug on uBlock Origin, but only on Chrome. So they had the browser Chrome, and now it is susceptible to intrusive ads. Google ramps up its campaign against ad blockers on Chrome. Yeah, they tried to do the same thing in Germany, where they wouldn't allow you to play videos for a while. It would show you a pop-up saying that there is ads on the video and you need to watch the ads. And it, for me, it disappeared. I don't know about you guys, but maybe the EU, I'm living in the EU, has some protection against this, but they weren't allowed to do this anymore. And so it just went away over time. Uh, not sure what ex exactly happened, whether that was the case or they noticed a decline in viewer numbers in on YouTube, which I don't think would happen. But yeah, essentially they tried to force you to watch ads and disable ad block, which obviously most people didn't want to do. <laughs> Excuse me. Let's read this. What do you need to know? Google is transitioning Chrome's extension support from the manifest version 2 framework to the version 3. So they're updating the framework. Okay, this is, this means users won't be able to use uBlock Origin to block ads on Google Chrome. However, there's a new iteration of the app, uBlock Origin Lite, which is which is manifest version 3 compliant, but doesn't boast the original version's comprehensive ad blocking features. Mm -hmm. Google's campaign against ad blockers across the service just got more aggressive, according to a report by PC World. The company has made some alterations to, ex to its extension support on Google Chrome. Google Chrome recently changed its its extension support from the main yeah. framework to the framework version 3. The browser policy changes will impact one of the most popular ad box blockers, arguably. You block origin, yeah. So I wonder, guys, I wonder how long it will take for you block origin to turn over and be bought just like Adblock Plus was in the past. And then you will still see ads. You can pay them money so that they display ads and they pretend they can't block them anymore. Do you think this will happen in the future? Real men use the Brave browser and code in Rust. Okay, bro. So I wonder, but it's awesome to see that uBlock Origin still blocks a lot of ads. Now they can't block ads on Twitch. At least for me, it doesn't work. But on everything else, they block all the ads, whether that be YouTube, uh, the browser, no, uh, web pages on the internet. You can't even use them properly if you don't use uBlock Origin. There's just way too many ads shown or shoved into your face before you can even read what you're wanting to read because it's like everywhere. And then there's a video uh, and that video has like 10 million ads in it. It's crazy. The transition to the manifest version 3 framework means extensions like uBlock Origin can't use remotely hosted code. According to Google, it presents security risks. Okay, of course. The, yeah, it is a security risk. Of course. Did you guys know that there are ads on YouTube that are actually causing you to be scammed? There are scam ads on YouTube. So, like, I'm pretty sure that there are the community risks. <laughs> but okay. By allowing unreviewed codes to be executed in extensions. The new policy changes will only allow an extension to execute JavaScript as part of its package. Over 30 million Google Chrome users use uBlock Origin. Ooh. But the tool will be automatically disabled soon via an update. Ah. <laughs> Okay, Google will let users enable the feature via the settings for a limited period before. My phone, my phone just showed me Google Gemini because I was talking. Are you kidding me? I don't have this enabled at all. Stop talk. Stop listening, Google. They're listening. Yeah. Shh, 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 shh. Get fucked. I'm just gonna turn it upside down now. What the fuck? And they're recording. Yeah. Good. <laughs> Google will let users enable the feature via the settings. Uh, Google, I'm I'm good. Okay, bro. Uh, don't don't do anything. 
for a limit period before it's completely scrapped. From this point, users will be forced to switch to another browser or choose another ad blocker. Yeah, that will be the, the totally not uBlock Origin extension then, right? The new version of uBlock Origin. Mm -hmm. uBlock Origin fans can rest at ease since, there, since a new, ver new and improved version is already available. uBlock Origin Lite. It's worth noting that while the new app ships with similar features to the original version, version including core and add blocking features, it doesn't support dynamic filters for blocking scriptlet injection. The light. So, what is a scriptlet injection? Scriptlet injection. What does that look like? Like, do you guys have an example of a scriptlet injection? So, I don't know what these injection ads are. It seems like there are some ads that will still be displayed. The light version's capabilities are relatively limited due to its compliance with the manifest version three fresh framework. Threshold. According to uBlock Origin developer Raymond Hill, I consider UBO Lite to be too different from UBO to be an automatic replacement. You will have to explicitly find a replacement to UBO according to what you expect from a content blocker. UBO Lite may or may not fulfill your expectations. And then this is it. But it seems like there is a blog post from the Adblock Plus. But this is Adblock Plus, bro. Adblock Plus got bought. So I can't trust anything they say. This might be a tinfoil hat thing to say. I think that we cannot trust Adblock Plus because they have already, already been shown to be bought in the past to show you some ads and work together with advertisers. So whatever they say, I take with a huge grain of salt because it could just be that they are just blatantly lying. Okay, we can read this. The manifest version three version of the Adblock Plus extension is officially here. We have just released the newest version Adblock Plus and with that, we are now compliant to Google's new browser extension platform. Great. The post has the most up-to-date information about this change. For more on what's different on Adblock Plus version three compliant, check out the details below. Our mission is to block disruptive ad. Okay, bro. Usually this won't happen behind the scenes with a little fanfare and potentially according to google manifest will introduce stricter, stricter permissions uh, the intention is to make the harder for malicious browser extensions mm -hmm, to accomplish this our goal is to, what does this mean for you this specific rollout plan still being finalized uh, adblock plus like our adblock also relies on predefined rules when you th think of filter lists let's help you think of a coffee filter the filters can trap Currently, our filter lists are updated automatically, often multiple times a day. So if you see an ad, this manages to get around the blocking filter. It's typically taken care of right away because of these updates. Manifest 3 made it so that we'll no longer be able to do these types of updates in the same way. Because they're running their own code, right? Thankfully, our developers created a solution called Differential Fatalist Updates. Oh, okay, yeah, it's, they just call it some magical name. Okay, this feature allows them to ensure that the filter lists are kept up to date in between official releases. Users likely won't notice a difference. I feel like this is just lying, blatantly lying. This means nothing. Yeah, yeah, I think. Anyways, so we'll have to see. I think I only trust the uBlock Origin guys with some real information here. So we're gonna have to wait and see. I don't understand why Google won't work together with uBlock and whitelist some of the ads. As far as I understand, Google doesn't really make distinction what type of ads are shown to you. For example, you could be watching a video about World of Warcraft. And then in the advertisement that you're watching, if you're not using an ad block, there could be an advertisement <laughs> uh, about buying money in the game, which is obviously illegal. So Google doesn't really track its advertisers. So to think that Google would work together with uBlock to whitelist some ads like they, they don't really give a shit whether the advertisement is actually legal or not uh, but but thankfully we still have other browsers that they do not have control over so for example firefox you can still use uBlock. uBlock enhances the customer experience if, a, if you block users from using ad block they will jump ship to other browsers yes but isn't that good so google also loses well google is playing the long game so essentially while yes, people might jump browsers now, the next thing that happens, you know, where let's say they take over Firefox, if they can, or they, you know, struck, strike a deal with Firefox. Now there's another browser that you can't use. And 
you know, then uh, every time a new thing happens where they inch forward, uh, there will be less and less people that seek the ad-free experience because it's just too much work. And so you're left with only the tryhards that are watching ad-free. And then you have all of the normies that couldn't be bothered to spend time and effort uh, no, into watching without ads. They just watch the ads then. Instead of realizing how stupidly annoying ads are for the human brain, they just target you, Block Limao. Of course, because ads mean money, bro. Money means power and power means influence. Surely that will help with their monopoly case. Yeah, like I know that they have lost the monopoly case. Obviously, they have, uh, they appealed it, essentially. Yeah. So what I think is going to happen i said this before this is just one step i'm pretty sure ublock origin will find a way to circumvent what's happening in version 3 maybe it will take some time maybe it won't be the perfect ublock origin extension that you had before but what i think is happening over time is that google and other advertisers big companies will try to inch forward in making you watch more and more ads this is essentially what's going to happen over time and more and more people will stop trying to fight it to the point where there's just a few people that are still going to watch ad free so for example what happened to me was while before i could use ad uBlock origin to block all ads on twitch and i open oh i'm streaming right now so it doesn't work when you're streaming you can watch any stream ad free like ad free but my point is still when i click on a stream right now i will watch an ad because you block origin on firefox doesn't block the ads for me anymore on twitch and so i have given up on trying to fight ads on twitch i know there's a way to do that it still works and i did this for like a couple of times in the beginning but twitch would keep fighting back you know making sure that you still watch ads so i've they've already won this fight but i can still watch youtube ad free so essentially at some point there will just be a minority group that can watch everything ad free and the majority of users will watch ads thankfully we still have some blockers that are working against this you block origin um, but it's definitely difficult for them to keep going, you know, if they have to fight these ginormous companies, of course. And uh, obviously this will lead a lot of people to switch over to, let's say, Firefox or other browsers. You know, there's reasons to use Firefox and there's reasons to not use Firefox, of course. But it's just, you know, one more step in the direction of watching ads.